This is a sad place. I've cried many tears here. When someone dies, this is the place where they are laid to rest. I met Jesus before. In fact, we all had, me, Martha and Lazarus. He'd become like family. We loved him and he loved us. He loved us and he taught us like no one had ever done before. The Holy Scriptures said that God would send someone to help and save his people. A man like any other man and we believed that it was Jesus. Jesus was human but also the Son of God. I was surprised he was so personal, so loving, so caring. But all of that caused me to have more faith. So when Lazarus became ill, we sent for Jesus. He'd healed people before, so surely, I mean, he, he loved us. He would come and heal Lazarus now. Jesus sent word back. This illness will not end in death. Thank goodness, I thought. But we were left waiting. Would Jesus show up on time or not? Well, Lazarus, my brother, Jesus' friend, died. We cried, we wailed, the whole town turned up to grieve with us. In four days, four days after Lazarus had been in his tomb, Jesus decided to show up. He was upset. In fact, Jesus wept. But he said to Martha, believe and have faith. He stepped up to the tomb and prayed aloud so everyone could hear him. He prayed to God, who he also called his father. And then he spoke directly to Lazarus. He told us to roll the stone away and then he called to Lazarus to come out. And he did. Lazarus was alive. Jesus had truly healed my brother although he did it later than I expected. He got here in time to do what he and the Father had planned. An amazing thing which brought glory to God. Now I associate this graveyard with hope because death can't make us truly sad anymore. Not with Jesus.